Baby, baby, oh, I did it again. I lied to your face to win the race, the political race. Now, for the sake of making some small effort to correct some of the deluge of disinformation put out there by Donald Trump, here are the facts. On the issue of $750, $750 is the first grant given by FEMA. They're offering people $750. For immediate needs. For the worst, yeah. 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 When Trump tries to pretend that all you get is $750 to make you whole, he is lying. And considering his administration's FEMA did the same thing with $500, he knows better, but doesn't care. It is intended to get you money immediately so that you have instant cash to buy necessities like food and drinks and diapers and formula, toiletries, medicine, things like that. The amount is the same for everyone. It's also an increase, by the way, from the $500 of initial funds that was distributed during the Trump administration. From there, FEMA is meeting with those impacted on an individualized basis to determine how much to allocate for repair costs, which goes up to a maximum of $42,500. The Biden-Harris administration has also approved a 100% federal cost share for emergency response activities in Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Trump then goes on to claim that Kamala should be in North Carolina, to which Laura Ingram replies that she is literally in North Carolina. Where she should be, I would say that North Carolina is bad, is so bad. And she she was there be. today for three hours, I believe. <laughs> Thank you guys for your work, okay? Thanks for being here. So we've been employing resources for over a week, or no, an entire week now. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our hub. And we're really grateful for our community partners. So you have different sources of donations, right? We do. To this effort. We do. And she, she was there be. today for three hours, I believe. When Laura Ingram, Laura Ingram fact checks you on air. Let me make this as clear as humanly possible. Trump doesn't know what's happening on the ground. He doesn't care what's happening on the ground. His goal is to attack Democrats and praise Republicans because he's got an election coming up and his freedom, literally his freedom, depends on winning in November and his party carrying him to victory in November. So he will use every occasion, making every minute, every second of the day worthwhile to attack Democrats and praise Republicans because all he has is a hammer and everything looks like a nail. Trump politicized this hurricane faster than his escapade with Stormy Daniels and he continues to do so on a daily basis. He goes on to claim, quote, they don't have any people here, referring to the Biden-Harris administration in terms of who's there to help. In reality, the White House has directed the Defense Department to deploy up to 1,000 active duty soldiers to support response efforts. In all, more than 5,300 federal personnel are on the ground supporting the response. More than $20 million in individual assistance has been provided to households of survivors. FEMA has shipped over 9 million meals, 11 million liters of water, a quarter of a million tarps, and 150 generators. All of which is to say, the notion that the government isn't responding is a lie peddled by people who are looking to help themselves politically. And don't take my word for it, take the word of these Republican officials. I just spoke, the president just called me uh, yesterday afternoon, I missed him and I called him right back. And he just said, hey, what do you need? And I told him, you know, we, we got what we need, we'll work through the federal process. He, he offered that if there's other things we need, just to call him directly, which I appreciate that. We have been, uh, Sean, I have to say, working well with FEMA. Uh, they, in fact, were moving very quickly over the last few days for us, and getting these resources has been critically important. I'm, I'm incredibly appreciative of the rapid response and the cooperation from the federal team at FEMA. Um, I've been on the phone over the weekends with the senior FEMA administrator. The team has been deployed. We had our declaration of emergency processed an expedited uh, way over the weekend and was finalized yesterday. I too want to thank uh, the entire team. I mean, our communities, our citizens in the communities are, are certainly uh, very resilient, at the, as the governor stated. Our private partners, volunteers, I mean, obviously our local, our state, and our government, uh, and our federal government all working together. Just a lot of hard work going on just across the state. This storm, le this storm left a tremendous amount of devastation. But the personal, uh, but the response efforts by all involved uh, have been phenomenal. As of today, what has been the ongoing kind of federal assistance for South Carolina? It has what has been? It's been superb. We are, we're getting getting assistance, and we're asking for everything we need. They're doing a great job, and you see this rush of uh, local officials, team of 
FEMA, from the federal to the state to the local, the local emergency management agencies, local county mayors with tears in their eyes out there serving their people. We're grateful for the quick actions and close communications that we have had with the president and with the FEMA team. So to President Biden, thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, paying attention to our needs. I think we've had good working relationship between the federal government. So on one side, you've got the White House and state officials, including Republican governors, all of whom acknowledge the work that is going into this response effort. And on the other side, you've got Trump and the most partisan Republicans in government, including Elon Musk, who's got the media literacy of a cocker spaniel spewing disinformation like a fire hose. Which one do you think you should believe? Take all the time you need with that one.